Hello and welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Today I want to uh, share with you a way that I found to calculate weighted averages if you're using Microsoft Teams to calculate student grades. And I am really uh, want to share this with you in order for you to have an option if you have decided to maintain a grade book essentially within Microsoft Teams. But also if you have any suggestions about an easier way to do this, perhaps I'm missing something. Uh, maybe there's an easier way to do what I'm uh, sharing with you today. So if you do have uh, any suggestions, any uh, ways that um, that I can do this a lot easier, uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, and share that. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going to share my screen now and uh, show you what uh, how I go about sharing weighted or creating uh, a weighted average uh, for a particular class that I have set up in Microsoft Teams. All right, so I'm going to go and open up Microsoft Teams here. And let's get out of this. I'm going to go into Teams. And uh, this is the class that I've set up. And I have here assignments and grades. Here's a list of all the assignments that I've set up so far for this particular class. They appear here. And the grades. Now, one limitation that I've seen is that there is no way that I have found to set up in individual assignments within categories. So typically, at least the, the classes that I have taught, usually a class will have assignments that fall under particular categories. And those categories usually are assigned a weight. OK, seldom are the different categories of equal weight. OK, so what this means is that different assignments have different weighted values. Some are more important. Uh, some affect the grade more than others. So I've not found a way to set that up <clears throat> within Microsoft Teams within the the platform within this this uh, screen here. So what I have done is, or what I do is I'll export to Excel the grades. OK, so all the assignments set up for each student, they have a particular grade. When you export, it will automatically download this Excel file. Actually, it's a CSV, I think, file, but you can open it up as a, an Excel file and it will download automatically to your computer. Now, I have already done this, and uh, I've hidden some personal information of, of my students to, to have a level of uh, confidentiality here, but I have across the screen all of the assignments, and what it does is it will export all of the assignments. assignments. Each assignment will have the points that the student earned, it will have the total points and it will automatically add a column called feedback. All right, so this is exactly what it looks like upon export. And the um, along with the student's last name and the email. OK, so again, I've hidden that information, but that also is provided in the in the file. Now, what I've done or what I do to calculate weighted averages, there are several steps involved. And again, this is what I don't particularly like. I think this is a limitation clearly um, currently in Microsoft Teams when trying to calculate total grades, especially in the case, again, where categories of assignments are usually assigned different weights. So what I do is I use the feedback column and I calculate the total percentage grade for each student for each assignment. So I'll quickly do that here. I'm going to use a formula. All right, so the points that the students earn divided by the total points will give you a calculation. And then what I do is I'll assign this. I'll change this to a percentage. And then I will copy and paste all the way down for each student. And then I'll do this for each assignment. So again, this is what I'm going to have to do. There's no quick way to do this. OK, 
OK, so depending on how many assignments you have for a particular class, right? This can be very cumbersome. It can be very. Uh, well, it can require a lot of steps. So here at the very bottom below the last student of my class, I'm going to create a row titled weight for weighted average. Now for this particular class, I basically have two categories or two types of assignments, one called weekly assignments and the other called caddy or caddy worksheets. So the assignments I'm going to assign 90%, that is 90% of their grades for that particular type of assignment are going to make up 90% of the grades. The caddy worksheets are going to be assigned 10%. So I'm going to again format these cells as a percentage. And just to make this go along, make this uh, quicker. All right, so I basically only have three caddy worksheets so far that fall under the category of caddy, caddy worksheets. So now I'll just go back here and change the ones I've got that that change the assignments that are that fall under this category. So we'll change this to 10 percent. I got one more here. Right here, so again, each of these assignments have three columns. The points possible, the total po I'm sorry, the points that the students earn, and then the second column is the, the points possible, and then I've calculated under the feedback, which is again popular, which is provided automatically when exporting for Microsoft Teams. I'm calculating, I'm doing a formula to, cat to uh, create a percentage grade for each assignment. Okay, so I have all these students here. I have the weighted averages for each assignment here. And so now the next step is to go here at the very end. I'm going to create a uh, last column here at the end. And I'm going to call this the total score. This is going to be their total grade. Taking into consideration the weighted averages for the assignments. Now here we're going to use a couple of formulas. We're going to use some product. Now some product and I'm going to have to insert a print. And to make this a little easier, I'm going to make it smaller. It's going to be a little hard to read, but essentially what I'm going to be doing is. Whoops, I think I missed a step. All right, let me back up. Before I do this, I have to do one more thing. So let me bring it back up to make so that you can see this. All right, so what I need to do now is to hide the first two columns for each of the assignments. OK, because all I'm interested in now is this feedback column for each assignment. That's the only thing that I need at this point. So I'm going to hide. I don't want to delete these columns, but I want to hide them because I want to maintain the calculation here. So let me double check this. So again, I want to select the first two columns of each assignment and. I want to hide it. Now I'm going to have to do this for each assignment. So bear with me for a few seconds here. Again, there's no this is what I, I don't particularly like. This is a these are a lot of steps that are required to figure a weighted average, which I think is the norm. You know, in most classes you're going to have a weighted average. Uh, when you're teaching a class. And you need a, an easy way to for the system to calculate this. If you go into basically any management system that has a grading function or has this functionality, this is going to be uh, set up automatically. You're going to go into the category, you're going to assign a percentage, and it's going to provide a final grade automatically. Okay, this is the norm. This is, you know, the way things are done in most learning management systems. But with Microsoft Teams, and I'm sure that this is probably on their in their to-do list, hopefully. But uh, the reason, again, I'm even doing this video is to show you what I do. And I hope that someone would come up and say, well, you know, you're missing something. You know, you you need to do it this way. And. Then I would 
be very appreciative. It might feel silly for a little while. Think, oh wow, I should have, I should have seen that. It should be an easier way to do it. But I sure have not found a way to to, to do all of what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. Now uh, we're ready to do our formula. So again, we're going to do some product. Print. Now, let me make this a little bit smaller so that I think, in fact, it, yeah, I think that's okay, actually. All right, so I'm going to now click and drag for each student, for this first student, first, okay, so I'm going to select all of the, the total grades for each assignment, and I'm going to include a parenthesis, no, I'm sorry, a comma, and then I'm going to click and drag the weights for each assignment along the bottom the bottom row. Then I'm going to close the print. Then I'm going to hit, hit uh, the divided symbol. I'm going to divide all of that. Now I'm going to click a second or use a second uh, formula, sum, print. Now I'm going to click and drag again the weights at the bottom. And then I'm going to close the print. Now there's one last thing I want to do. Starting here with, in my case, F31, I'm going to put a dollar sign before and after the letters of each of the cells, just like I've done here. I don't remember the exact term used for what I'm doing here, but essentially what this does is it will, it's basically saying that this cell is going to be fixed because I'm going to copy and paste this here in a second. Uh, because I don't want to have to insert this formula for each of my students. I just want to do it once and then copy and paste it. Now I'm going to go up here and change the format again to percentage. Now I'm going to click copy and paste all the way down. Now if I didn't use those dollar sign symbols, then this wouldn't work. You would get an error message because then it would it would not be a fixed calculation on this on these cells here on this basically this row we want all of these to be uh actually we want all of these weights to be uh, totaled into the formula for each of these all right so now basically i have weighted averages this is the total score for each of my students uh, for this class given that all of the assignments for this class fall into two different categories, and each of those categories or types of assignments fall or include or have different weights. One category has uh, is worth 90%, the other category is worth 10. And uh, you know, you might have different types of assignments that fall under even more categories or more different types of weights, then you would have to account for those different weights here at the bottom. But this is how you can calculate a weighted uh, weighted score, a total grade for your students. If you're using Microsoft Teams and you're using the grading function, it's not easy. It's not uh, there's not a really a quick way to do it. Again, if anyone has a way to go about uh, doing uh, doing this, calculating the weighted average, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know. Otherwise, I hope this helps. I hope this provides a, a way to go about and use uh, Microsoft Teams as we're all kind of adapting and finding different uh, technologies to help reach out to our, our students uh, more online. And um, yeah, let me know what you're doing. Let me know what uh, how you're uh, using the different technologies available to uh, create an educational environment where students are, can thrive and uh, in this particular case, also be able to follow their grades. This has been In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks a lot for listening.